Hey, what's happening guys? I've got an easy little Arduino project for you that requires just a couple of components that if, if you have an Arduino laying around, you probably have these couple of components. This is a uh, self-color changing RGB LED. Um, if you don't have one, any LED will work. It just won't change colors. This is a 220 ohm resistor to limit the current through that LED. Now this guy here is an infrared sensor, an IR sensor. All it does is look for an IR here on the tip, and if it senses one, it will send out a signal on that digital pin, a low signal. And this is nothing but a piezo speaker and a little plastic housing that makes it look nice. So basically, what this is, is an Arduino fire slash flame alarm, although uh, disclaimer here, please do not trust your safety, the safety of your home, your family, your belongings, your possessions, anything you care about to an Arduino project you wired up. This is for educational and entertainment purposes only, just like the rest of my life. Now, what this does, I think I pretty well explained it to you, is the Arduino simply watches for a signal off of this flame sensor. And that's this yellow wire here. It comes back over to digital pin number two. And if it senses that pin going from high to low, which means this sensor is triggered, then it will simultaneously send a high signal to the LED and an alternating signal over here to the speaker. Allow me to demonstrate. And once the threat is removed, it resets. So it's really simple. But I thought, you know, looking for something, you, you guys seem to like these simple little projects. And I thought this was an easy one that just, you know, just about anybody can do with a couple of components. So let's go take a look at the code. I'll show you how the code works and I'll show you where you can download it as well. Okay, so here's the code for the Arduino fire alarm. We're going to start out by just uh, de uh, <laughs> defining some constant interrupts. These are just variables. So we can refer now to input pin as number two. I mean, we can refer to pin number two as input pin. We can refer to pin number four as output pin one. And we can refer to pin number three on the Arduino as output pin two. Then we're just going to create some Boolean variables, which are two state, on, off, high, low, true, false, previous state, which will start out as high, current state, then tone playing, which will start out as false, and tone state, which will start out as low. So now we're going to go into our setup and tell the Arduino how we need it to set up its internal ins and outs and what's not. So we'll start with pin mode, which sets the condition of the pin. So pin mode on input pin, which you see from above is number two, is set as an input. The other two, output pin one and output pin two, are set as outputs. Um, if you don't do this and you try and set one of those pins high, nothing good will happen. So then we're gonna digital write output pin one and output pin two low. So we're starting off with both our speaker and our LED off. Now is where the program starts and we begin monitoring that pin number two. So current state equals digital state of input pin. We say if current state is low and the previous state was high, which means it went from high to low, it was triggered, then we'll digital write output pin one high. That turns on our LED and output pin two, we start playing the tone. Now we come down here and we say current state. This is uh, if it if it remains high, if it was low and it went back to high, if it reset, the, you know, perhaps the fire has gone out. Then we say digital write output pin one equals low, digital pin four to high, tone playing, no tone, output pin two, we stop the tone playing. This is our little thing here. We say if tone playing, then we alternate the tone between high and low every 500 milliseconds or half a second. So that's just our little calculation division there. And we say tone on output pin two at one kilohertz, else no tone. And then we set previous state to current state. I'll put this in a Dropbox and there'll be a link down below so you, you can download it if you're interested. So as you see, there's 
all it does is look at pin number two. It's just constantly sitting there staring at it like an old lady looking out the window looking for a stray cat. And then if it sees it, it does what you tell it to do. So this could be transformed into anything. And you can use different sensors to do this as well. If you'd like to see me do it with different sensors, let me know down below. Anyway, I will put a link to the code in Pastebin. And I will also put a link to a 45-in-1 um, sensor module for Arduino starter kit. Um, off of AliExpress, you can get for like $14. Oh yeah, you hear that go off? That's because there is a uh, there's a window behind me, and you know sunlight has infrared light in it. So this is why I said don't trust anything you care about. To this it is simply for entertainment purposes. All right, guys, that's all I've got for today. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Wouldn't be here without these guys. If you're not yet a patron, consider joining for a buck a month down below. All right, that's it. I'm out. Peace.